Well, well, what's up everyone? RC84 here, like always, thanks for watching. So my friends, update on the Hummer H1 project here that I've been working on. Now I did my unboxing, if you have not seen the unboxing of that video yet, I will link it somewhere here in the, uh, the video and also down in the subscription as well. But uh, for the last few hours, I have been working on tearing the body down to get it you know, ready for paint. Uh, because I talked about in the unboxing that I wanted to uh, repaint the vehicle because uh, I don't really like the gloss black it came in. I mean, it's a cool color and everything, but I just, I, I want mine to be kind of different from everybody else's. So I've been sitting here for the last few hours and uh, been tearing this thing apart. This body shell, everything on the shell is removable everything and i mean everything the doors the hood uh there's a lot of small things that comes off as well and the rc workstation is full of parts right now also down on the floor is full of parts as well like i said there's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of parts on this thing uh, a lot and a lot of screws as well and i'm trying to keep up with where the screws went probably gonna have to sit there and try to guess now because I got them all screwed up and everything but I'm trying to keep everything there but anyway let me show you the workstation and uh, also down here on the floor as well so let me show you so like I said the workstation is covered all in the Hummer H1 parts here all the doors the door frames, the door covers. I mean, this thing is so real realistic and very scaled out. We got the window right there, window wipers, uh, air breather. Check out the dash. Super cool, very highly detailed. Oh, just saw the screw fell out. Make sure we put that there. So we got little windows, front of the vehicle. So we got all that now the vehicle has a lot of weight like the body has a lot of weight and i know where that weight's coming from it's this right here like the firewall the frame for the window all this is 100 percent metal like it is very so 200 dollars body this is what you're getting <laughs> very high quality parts a lot of parts like look check out how you open up the doors they have it with a spring and a lever there so yeah <laughs> now yeah we got the hood hood is right there now down here on the floor got some parts laying out getting like i said getting ready for paint so we have the uh, frame right here the vehicle this is the frame of it. Now these are metal as well. The whole thing is metal right there. So yeah. Uh, over there we have the roof, which is gonna get painted as well. And then we have the interior. Look how crazy detailed this interior is. I did not really show that too much in the uh, unboxing because you really couldn't see it with the lighting and stuff, but this thing is crazy, crazy detailed. Look at this. I mean, check out the center console in the back. Highly detailed. Shows the little air vents, cup holders. We got some little chargers, uh, buttons and stuff like that. So that is really cool. Uh, over here on the back, this is where actually where you put the battery at. And uh, it looks like it has cutouts here for uh, you know, normal size, you know, lipo batteries or nickel batteries, whatever you, you know, batteries you like using. But uh, check up here at the front. We got a couple of gear shifts here. So we have our gear shift right here. Look like we're missing one. <laughs> it's clean, broke off. Now I could have done that in uh, removing the uh, the dash there. So that's probably could have been my fault. But that's for the high for the uh, full wheel drive, for the high gear, low gear, stuff like that. Then we have our handle over here. Now, yep. now I showed this 
where I talked about this and tried to show it a little bit in the unboxing that, uh, let me bump up the lighting a little bit so we can get to see in this. But it actually has the little gas pedals, brake pedals, and they actually work. How about that? That's crazy. That is super detailed. So <laughs> I thought that was a really cool touch. Now another thing that I did not know was the seats. The seats actually recline back. So that way if you put in you know an action figure in there, which I probably will do that, it could fold back so that way you could fit your action figure in there. So that's a really cool uh, idea that uh, HG did on that. And I also really like what they did. So they have the interior as a panel and it just drops right down into the uh, onto the you know the frame of the Hummer there. So I thought that was really cool. So yeah. So there you go my friends, the update on the Hummer H1 project there. I've been, uh, like I said, been working on this thing for a while. It is about one o'clock right now in the morning. I've been at this thing for probably maybe four hours or so. Maybe. <laughs> I'm just trying to get it all tore down, getting it ready for paint, in which I'm kind of, kind of, uh, kind of afraid about this. Now, why am I afraid about this? Well, when I was opening up the body, I found that there's like like this oil on it. Now, uh, probably the reason why that oil is there, there's oil like in the jams and stuff. I think it was because since there is metal on here, I guess for a shipping purpose or to lubricate the uh, the latches and uh, uh, yeah the latches and uh, the door frames and stuff like that, stuff that moves and stuff like that. Um, I, I guess that's what's still in there. So I'm kind of afraid that if I start painting, would it have a chemical reaction? Now I've been taking some degreaser and stuff like that and uh, spraying it down. And uh, I'll give it a good thorough wash with some soap and water as well uh, to uh, try to prevent that from happening. But that's the kind of thing that was kind of like, it's like, mm, I don't know, should I paint this body now or should I not? Because this is a $200 body shell. It's not like I get a second chance on this. Uh, you know, if you will have a chemical reaction, that's the kind of thing I'm worrying about right now. Will it happen? Uh, hopefully, no, it won't. I'm hoping that it won't. Oh, this is hard on my shoulder right here. Still have shoulder issues, my friends. Just kind of have to live with it, you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm just kind of, kind of a little bit worried on the uh, the painting process of it, and and all. So, but. Uh, Hopefully, it'll be all right. You know, I'm hoping for the best, you know. Positive thoughts <clears throat> leads to positive actions. <laughs> I'm not a fortune cookie, my friends. But anyway, it is late. It is about 1.15 right now, a.m. All right, I've been up for that long. <laughs> I thought I started this probably about, maybe about 8 p.m. I started doing this. It is 1.15 now. I got a lot done. A whole lot done. But uh, anyway, I'm, I'm super pumped for it. So hopefully everything will go good with it. Now, you're probably asking what color are you going to paint it? Now, I did talk about that in the unboxing. Uh, I'm actually going to be doing this uh, in a navy blue. Um, I thought that was going to be a good color, good off-road color as well. Uh, it won't be so glossy as well because uh, the gloss thing is just going to really kill me, I think. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, do a navy blue, but I do also want to go back and touch a few things in uh, a black, kind of just offset the blue a little bit, kind of give it a little bit of a two-tone kind of feel to it. So it's a few little small things are going to be like in a black uh, style. This really hurts my arm, <laughs> um, but yeah. So that's my 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 vision right now for it. But like I said, hopefully I won't have any chemical reactions when I go painting the vehicle, the body of it. So hopefully I won't have any. Um, so I'm gonna test it fairly lightly first, and then 
just see how that goes. So I'll make sure that I, you know, clean this thing very thoroughly and uh, make sure I, you know, try to get all that oil off of there and uh, hope for the best, right? Yeah, yeah, that's all I can do, hope for the best. All right, my friend, so I've been up for a while now working on this body shell, trying to get it painted and all that good stuff, and I uh, just wanted to give you all an update. I'm super tired. You probably see bags under my eyes. I mean, come on, look at this. I'm, I'm probably, like, super tired. <laughs> um, but, yeah, but uh, there you go. There's the update on it. I'll give you another update once I get, like, the, 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 the vehicle or the body shell painted. <laughs> It's so late, my friends, I can't even think right. I've been sipping on my monster drink here, not advertising. <laughs> um, so I'm super tired now. I think I'm gonna go crawl into bed and uh, work on this project tomorrow. Hopefully uh, the weather be uh, right to do some painting and stuff and hopefully everything will go good. But uh, anyway, my friends, thank you for watching and I will see y'all in the next update of the Hummer H1 project. Thank you for watching. See you later.